people and maybe you guitar people who are just too bored and come here for entertainment. I wish I could tell you that this is a normal review where we just look at a fucking kick-ass bass, but it's not. So I got this bass a couple of weeks ago and uh, my friend Igor is like, when's the video coming up? When's the video coming up? I'm working on it, I'm working on it. So I'm getting used to the bass and I'm using it and I'm playing with it and I'm having fun. And then I said, Igor, maybe we should wait a bit with the video for reasons. Reasons like, Igor, are you okay? Because bombs are dropping where you are. I said, maybe it's not a good point to right now push a product that you can't make because your shop is in freaking Kiev, which is a place where, you know, you might right now not want to be. But he is there. And Valiant Guitars is still in Ukraine. And so why are we now making this video? Well, because he said, we got instruments out of the shop. We took our stock and we want to do something with it. And that is a very noble cause. And uh, they are doing a raffle on their website. I'm not really allowed on YouTube to promote a raffle. So let's call it, they're doing a flinkaboom on their website. And if you want to be part of the Flinkaboom to support a good cause in Ukraine and help those amazing people, um, and also maybe use the Flinkaboom word to win an amazing instrument, go to their website, which I will not link to, but it's valiantguitars.com. Um, and then I think we're good legally. And the rest of the video will be talking about this fucking thing. But this wouldn't be a fully help Ukraine support those people video if we didn't actually employ some people from over there. So we could go to the Ukrainian camera. Now Leslie is actually running away. <laughs> Come on, Stacy, show yourself. There's Stacy. Wave. Thank you. So Stacy is uh, Scott Elliott's girlfriend who is uh, now switching this video. So if it sucks, that's her fault. <laughs> and it won't. Okay. Go to the website. Help these people out. They're amazing people. I love Igor, his wife, and the whole team. Valiant Guitars is doing ridiculously good stuff. And we really hope that A, they're safe. B, they get back to work to make more of these. And C, that you participate in the Flingebung so that they can help out their fellow countrymen. Okay, compose yourself, Henning. All good. Whew. Here we go. This bass is uh, cool. It's got a freaky dicky look, a little bit wallish, wall bass. Mark Wahlberg bass? I don't know. Now, price wise, we're looking at 27, 2800 euro. Um, oh, Scott, can you bring me the cases that are standing in the room behind you? because we need to actually look at the hard case for these instruments, because it's pretty impressive what's happening. Scott, even around, switching people? Okay, good, good. Um, because this doesn't just come in any old gig bag or anything. It actually comes in a custom freaking molded case. Yes, Scott. You know, I mean, I'm putting him up in the house, so he's got to work. I mean, you're nothing for fucking free. Right? Yes, master. So op open the open this puppy up. There's a big Valiant sign on it. Very nice. Yeah, it's all good. All good. So. Right here. Turn, the, turn, turn, turn that shit around. So, now, and now we I'm actually. Oh. A flashy now or later? Oh. Oh, all right, so, look at this. Custom freaking molded to perfection. That's how you get this base. Grab it right here. There's a cutout. And it's what you expect from a high-end instrument. So what are, what are we looking at here? Um, Igor just wrote this to me. I'm going to have to go to my cheat spec sheet. This is the TNT5. 
Because five strength. In Coral Sea, the colors they have are amazing. They had a green one where the pickups were also green. But I mean, just look at this. Whoa, look at Stacy being fast. Leslie might lose her job. Leslie would not be sad if she lost her job. I mean, come look at this. The pickup covers are wood. Then you look at the back and you see these Duralipilum, I, I'm gonna read what that is in a second, covers, look at this cool, whatever that is. There is so much unique on these instruments, it's ridiculous. We have, of course, a five, no, seven piece neck. Look at the freaking guitar tit up there. That's some serious volute. So let me um, see, it's an alder body flame maple top. It's a seven piece hard rock and roasted maple neck. What? Hard rock and roasted maple? Is it roasted maple? It looks like walnut. I think he's off his rocker. Um, I bet he's saying. So titanium reinforced. It's got a volute, which it doesn't really need because it um, doesn't have the truss rod access here. It has the truss rod racks. Truss rod Truss rod rack. It has the truss. It has the tr truss rod access here. Very nice and easy to get to. We, of course, have freaky deaky chemistry inlay right there. So it's got a 34 inch scale. Doesn't tell me what that is because I don't know scales on base. Purple hard fretboard with a 16 inch radius, 22 nickel silver extra hard jumbo frets, proprietary B system pickups. B system. Uh, with an 18 volt preamp, parametric EQ, treble and bass, one volume, one balance, three way mini toggle for neck pickup for series, parallel, and single coil. It's got a proprietary, proprietary, it's got a proprietary, proprietary bridge from Duralumin, 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 Duralumin. Dur aluminum. Where right there? Dur aluminum. Aluminium, but it's dur. As are all the other metal parts. Metal. So if you look at this, this is dur aluminum. And if you actually look at these covers, I made a little picture for you. Underneath are threads. So these screws are not going in the wood. They're threaded. This is really nice. This actually has a little bit of a. Can you see this? thinner transition there. Uh, so this is Duralumin with bell brass saddles. This they make by hand. This is their own bridge. And it is a very nice piece of equipment. As are the knobs, which they make by themselves, also Duralumin, with um, the purple heart in it and the, what are they called? Letters on them. And then, of course, it's showing you where it's centered. Uh, three way switch. So we got volume, which also puts it in passive. We have balance, blue, as in balance, treble, bass, and this is parallel series and single coil for this, actually, which is kind of cool. And uh, we got uh, go-to tuners. He says very fine go-to tuners. They do the fucking job. Adjustable bell bronze nut, maple inlays. So these are actually maple and the Fret inlays are also the side inlays, which is kind of cool. Fully shielded. Damn, that's long spec lists, he says. Okay, for the uh, Flinkaboon, whatever it's called, go to the website because he's explaining it to me. That is it for now for what this thing is and does. Oh, very important. The nut on all Valiants is actually also bell brass. And you could say, mm, brass nut, that's very bright and troubly, maybe. And you got to play them. So let's look at this really, really cool nut because you can actually adjust the height of the strings individually. And look at this matching headstock. I mean, isn't it just to die for? I think it is. We are going through the Universal Audio Ampeg SVT directly into Le Cubase, which is French for program. Crank that shit up. I usually go in the middle. Let's go middle. Let's go middle. Let's go up. So we have a single call here and a humbucker here, or in French, a le humbucker. 
And then you play things like... For example, so let's go through the sounds. We're going to go to the humbucker by itself and uh, check it out. I'm going to give it a little bit of treble, a little bit of bass. So now we're going to go, that's parallel, that's probably series. Takes two batteries, by the way. And that should be single chord. No, no, no. Okay, so this is, I don't know what it is. This is very likely parallel because it's much fatter. Then you got, let's say, series. No idea. So if you want massive fatness, go down. So now we're going to go to this puppy back here. And um, crank up the bass. Very effective. So I usually go blend in the middle. And let's do blend in the middle with whatever that is. A little bit more sparkle. And then massive fatness. I can't slap. So let's do, you know, for the metal people, the pick thing. Ouch, my fingers hurt. Let's go passive by pulling this, and now no preamp. There is so much goodness in here. So if we go to this, she roll this off, just the humbucker in the front position, or neck position. So you, you really want to back it off 
make it nice and round and jazz it up Definitely a lot of sounds in here. And I think a very unique concept, for me at least, I've, I've never really seen that, the humbucker in the more neck position than the single on the back for that spankiness. And giving the humbucker the single coil parallel serial options uh, for some subtle tweaks. You've got the, you know, you got the preamp in there. All I can say is that the low end is freaking immediate and what you would, would expect from a very very good bass with a little bit of longer neck no idea if that's just starting right now uh, probably is so let me try that again, you know, a little bit more subtle. So if you want to do the genty, really precise, fast, lines really low and just create loads of mud which you usually would you do not if you have this thing because it is freaking right there i'm a stickler for having good bases because a base has to be right freaking there immediately and this is it's just good so if you want to support these fine people go to their website <clears throat> Um, you know, do the flinky boom. And very, very hopefully, as soon as fucking humanly possible, these people can forget about whatever is happening right now. Hopefully that's all just done with very soon. They can go back to their workshop and go back to making these incredibly unique one-offs in different colors for you guys. You can get them through Reverb. You can get them directly from them. Um... I really hope that we get back to this very quickly. Not just because they're my friends and I want them to be safe, but also because uh, they're working on a green guitar for me. <laughs> or at least they used to. I'm like, hey, when is that shipping? Oh, hmm. I'm kidding. Igor, I'm kidding. Oh, good. <laughs> I don't care about the guitar. I care about your safety. And the safety of your, for you, way too attractive wife. Just letting you know. But you know this already, right, Igor? You know this. Okay, these people are there. They are doing the thing to help people out and, and get some money for humanitarian, humanitarian purposes and all that stuff. So check them out. And hopefully very soon you can get your hands again on a Valiant TNT5. Maybe in Coral Sea. Maybe in whatever fucking color you want. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to put... We're not going to put links below, but you'll find them. You know, legal reasons. And... um. Thanks to Stacy for doing a great job. Thanks to uh, Scott for nothing. Thanks to Leslie for ducking down. <laughs> and uh, we're going to put animals at the end.